I feel like when it comes to like shrooms and psychedelics, the, the minority community, we're like 10 years behind the white community. That's what I noticed. Black, black people, even worse than Latinos, black people do not fuck with mushrooms. I don't know. Any black homies here do mushrooms? Yeah? What's your, what's your feelings on mushrooms? You, is this, you, you, you said you don't fuck with it? No? What about you, homie? You don't fuck with it? Do you know, is there any, have you ever thought about it or not? It's not even on your... You don't even know what mushrooms are? White guys. Uh, <laughs> we have any whites here that can explain? Any white people here have got mushrooms? It's decriminalized, you won't get in trouble. Oh, hi, how are you? What's your experience with mushrooms? They're great. They're great. See that old white lady in the back? <laughs> she OG dog. You need, what's your name, ma'am? Julie. Julie. What's your name? Benga. 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 You gotta meet Julie. <laughs> That's the plug. <laughs> Julie, how, when did you get introduced to psychedelics and mushrooms? Ten years ago. Ten years ago. And uh, what's your current relationship with it? Do you, uh, as far as like, you said? Regularly. Regularly. Okay, I, I heard drug dealer, but okay. <laughs> I'm like, damn, Julie, the plug plug. <laughs> Manga, yo, that's <laughs> Would you feel more comfortable if you buy drugs from Julie? Look at you, turn around, look at Julie. Just look at her face. <laughs> She's the sweetest looking lady in the world. Benga, just take a look. Say hi, Julie, to Benga. She can, she can walk you through it. I would do it myself. I feel like Julie's very safe. I wouldn't introduce you to a bad person. I've known Julie for two minutes. <laughs> but she seems like a sweet lady. Julie, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you, what's your experience? Like, has, does it, can you educate us on like, the effects of it? I, I, there's some John Hopkins studies that it, uh, it can help um, you know, with some trauma stuff. <laughs> Julie, a gangster, dog. Benga's like, count me in. <laughs> I don't know why I gave you an accent like that. But, <laughs> but he gave it off like you got an accent. Benga, you got that. Huh? You only fucking with it still? Even, you don't want to get fucked up with Julie, dog? It's New Year's Eve, dog. You'll never forget this night. Yo, we need some mushrooms with Julie right now, bro. Who got shrooms on them? We gonna give it to Benga right now. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, okay, Benga, where, what's your, first off, let's, what's your background? Where, where's your family from? Nigeria. Nigerian, oh, Nigerian. Did you grow up in the DMV? No, you grew up in, uh, back home? How long you been out here for? 10. 10 years? 2000, okay. So I, I get it. Not, you're not black, you're African too, so that's even more like, like psychedelic, it's very taboo. It's like, y'all don't, do you do any drugs? <laughs> hey, guys, guys, easy. By the way, that white guy, he's with me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> he's not a cop, he's working with me. There's no, this, this is a safe space, man. He's like, uh, brother, I don't have paperwork, please. <laughs> this is, uh, there's too many cameras right now. It's, I wanted to have a good time, New Year's Eve, not go to jail. <laughs> Homie is stressed right now. He's looking at Julie like, that's a narc. <laughs> they said that this is... Nah, I get it, bro. You, you, you grew up, you from Nigeria, so you don't trust nobody. <laughs> like, I just want to have a good time, brother. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> Keep this drug shit moving. <laughs> nah, I said, hey, I ain't mad at it. Thank you for telling me, you know, your story, because, yeah, nah, it makes sense. Are you, uh, is there any regular black people that I could talk <laughs> That got their paperwork in order? <laughs> Because you know, Benga, I don't know if you know this, but uh, it's decriminalized in, in, in DC. It's not, it's not illegal. I, you know that? Okay. So, does that change anything or are you still not fucking with it? Yeah. Is it because, uh, is it a personal decision or you don't want to let your family down? Both. It's, yeah, because you're very, you want to make sure you, uh, you know, your parents are relying on you to, to do big things. But what if I were to tell you mushrooms can help expand your mind? <laughs> I'm being a bad influence. <laughs> I don't know why I'm acting like, I'm never like this, but I just, I just felt like you might, you know. I would do shrooms, would you do shrooms with me? I would, if, if, no, okay. All right, I tried, I tried my best. Julie, I tried. Hey, Julie, would you do shrooms with me? Yeah. Let's do it, Julie. Let's fucking, let's set it, it's a date, man. So how do you, how do you do it? You do the, what do you do? Like the, 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 the real shit or do you do the chocolates? What do you do? Nice. Julie, who are you here with? Just my neighbor's son, Dylan. My neighbor, my 
Damn, you got the whole neighborhood. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. You, you, have you ever done shrooms with your son? Yes. <laughs> Whoa, white people different. <laughs> Julie, you have to understand, like, for Latinos and black people, this is like, we're like, whoa. <laughs> we, this is like, you know, I feel like we're all getting a glimpse of like what it's like. It was whoa for me the first time, bro. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like you're on shrooms right now. <laughs> You're like, yeah, fuck yeah. But like now, but how many times have you done shrooms with your mom at this point? No, like, it's only once. Only once? Yeah, but, like, but she did it on her own with the homie. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Which one's the homie? That one, you're raising your hand? Hi. <laughs> What's your name? Margaret. Margaret. Are you also uh, white or? Uh, Mexican and Italian. Nice. And how do you know Julie? Neighbor? She's my neighbor. <laughs> what, which neighborhood is this? <laughs> oh, they're like, we live on Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> I like this neighborhood. <laughs> My bad, what, what'd you say, what area? Beltsville, Maryland. Beltsville, okay, very cool, man. Oh, you guys are like cool, liberal, like open-minded. Yeah, fuck yeah, man. So what kind of like, okay, so like when y'all get together. First off, like how'd you meet, Julie, you just like, how did the conversation start about, Julie was like, you fuck with my shrimp? Like, <laughs> I went to a, a DC like weed meetup and they mm -hmm. had a bunch of vendors and so some of them had shrooms and so we bought some and went home and Oh, uh, that's cool. And then, so what, did y'all just talk or you watch movies or how'd y'all do it? Listen to music, put some good visuals on. Nice. That is chill. Thank you for sharing your story because like I said, it's a very new, you know, Benga here, he, um, <laughs> he doesn't have a lot of experience and it's a, it's very taboo and I, which I understand. It's a, it's not a, it's not a common thing for minorities, but I really feel like it can benefit us. Benga, look at me, make eye contact. <laughs> look at me, brother. We are here to help you. You are here to, at the room of to transcend and grow. This is a good positive thing. You will learn all the toxic, you know, sh stuff you have. You will let it go, you know? Because you have your arms crossed right now. I can tell you have a lot of anger. You have to let the Nigerian anger go. Let the, the sweet white woman into your heart. <laughs> Poor Benga. <laughs> Benga, look at me, you're not alone. <laughs> you're not the only one that has pain, brother. You're in a safe space. Everyone here is behind you. By the end of the show, we're all gonna be like, huh? <laughs> we're gonna all try to heal Benga. <laughs> By the end of the night, he's gonna be playing Jenga. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, <laughs> I don't know why. Hey Benga, does your name have a, a special meaning in Nigerian? What's the meaning? Because uh, for those who don't know, Nigerians, they all have like very proud names and it's usually a lot of the names they get are given always have a special meaning. And Bengo, he said he wants to share the meaning of his Nigerian name. <laughs> Bengo, can you please uh, share the meaning of your name for the whole class? What's... No, come on, it's a safe space. Asian guy, what's your name? Kevin, Kevin see? <laughs> Kevin, you know what that means in Asia? It's good credit. <laughs> That's a translation. See, Benga? It's a, it's a safe space, Benga. You don't want to share it still? No, it's ben my name is Benga. There's <laughs> but no, I said, what's, what's the meaning? There's no meaning behind it. It's, it's lifted up. Lifted up. Yeah, okay. Dog, your name is lifted up? Yeah. You've got to do mushrooms. <laughs> You've got to do mushrooms with a name like lifted up, dog. This is a sign from God. <laughs> Your name is lifted up and you never... Julie, I don't, we gotta work something out. <laughs> Bengo, is there any good Nigerian words you could teach me? Like a good word, how do you say like bitch or fuck you in Nigerian? <laughs> so there's a different e, There's Igbo. There's Igbo, is your... I know Igbo. I'm, I'm your... You're your... Oh, different tribe? Yeah, yeah different tribe. My bad. No, it's okay. it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> teach me some shit from your tribe. Uh, a, cur a good curse word. Like we're all learning. This is a very learning. We're all enlightened, and we're trying to lift and go. We want to go into 2024 with new Nigerian curse words. Okay, so, <laughs> so if you want to say someone is a bastard, yeah. Omwali. Om, Omwali. 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 Say one more time. Omwali. Omwali. That's how you say something like that. Omwali. Yeah, Omwali. All right, class. Everyone, repeat. Omwali. Omwali. A little bit more. Omwali. Omwali. All right, 
right. Now everyone look at Benga. <laughs> You walked into it, Venga. Ja 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 ja.